Good morning. Um, as I'm finishing up my uh, Christmas reading plans and things on the YouVersion app, um, today I was reading about Joseph and focusing on him. And I read Matthew chapter 1, verse 20, where it says, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. And that was Matthew chapter 1, verse 20. And so that was the angel of the Lord speaking to Joseph in a dream that he was having. And um, I believe that Joseph must have been dealing with some fears for the angel to tell him that. Do not fear. And so when Joseph woke up, he did as the Lord commanded. Um, he listened and he obeyed and he did not fear to take Mary as his wife. Um, and then in Matthew chapter 2, I see that Herod was troubled so he, I believe he was experiencing fear. He was feeling threatened by the birth of Jesus. Um, <clears throat> and he chose to then devise a plan to kill Jesus. So our fears can either take, our, take us closer to God or further away. For Joseph, it took him closer to God. He listened to what the angel of the Lord said to him in the dream, and he obeyed him. Herod, though, decided to... Um, to turn away from God and actually fight against him. And so we each have that choice. Joseph had the choice to obey or not, and he chose to obey. We each have that choice. Well, the first step is a choice we have. And, um, and then when you, when you choose to obey what God is telling you to do in that um, time of fear, um, then you get to watch the Lord move after that. And so um, I'm just thinking about that, how like in the Psalms, it talks a lot about singing a new song. And I've been, I've been choosing to sing a new song rather than dwell on the fear or work against God. I've been choosing to sing a new song and trust the Lord. And uh, even when circumstances look bleak, just trust what he's doing. Obey what he tells me to do for each day. I don't know what tomorrow holds. You don't know what tomorrow holds. But we can sing a song of praise today and of trust and a song of hope. And I think that's an important message to carry us into the new year, that we have that choice. So um, do something hard today and focus on that new song that God is calling you to sing.